the discussion around vaccines and mandates tends to pit red state versus blue. But I had heard there was vaccine hesitancy and misinformation in the elitist of the elite blue corners of the U.S. So I headed to a protest in sunny Southern California. I came to California curious if the anti-vax mandate crowd would talk to me. Then I realized I brought a camera and we're in Southern California. I think I'll be fine. Is this an anti-vaccination? It is not an anti-vax, so don't go there. Don't go there. Please don't. Are you vaccinated? I am not. So you're anti-vax. I do not want to get the vaccination for COVID. What do you support? Um, people's freedom of choice. Don't you benefit from a society that supports that by getting vaccinated? You shouldn't be able to force that stuff on people. It's a step one, then it'll be step two. What's step, step three. two? Uh, uh, who knows? I, I'm not a conspiracy theorist here. But so didn't we have step one with polio? They didn't really yeah. mandate that. The people were docile back in the in the industrial age. They, they were more than willing to take these shots. Polio is mandated for students going to school. Polio has to be because we know what it's done. Don't we know what COVID's done? Uh, I mean, there's 750,000 people who have a pretty good idea. Dig it. Do you trust the vaccine whatsoever? Zero, like zero percent. Mm -hmm. And because I know what the, the, end, the end goal is. What's the end goal? Bill Gates said in the 2015, if we can get all these health things, vaccination, we can reduce the population by 10 to 15%. What's 15% of 7 billion? That's a billion people. The Less vaccine is all about depopulation. They've said that. So this is just Bill Gates' pet project to depopulate no, the globe. He, he's probably a puppet of the people above him. Which are who? No, no clue. It's a big claim to say there is a giant plan to kill half the population and not have a Thanos to point to. So why does the conversation on this SoCal boardwalk sound like a Shoney's in Lancaster, PA? I talked to Derek Barris, who's been tracking this coastal elite anti-vax movement for years. You've had a long anti-vaccine uh, sentiment here. Specifically in 2017, there was a measles outbreak right over there in Brentwood in Santa Monica, where an eradicated disease in America sprung up again. This idea of bodily sovereignty has really come about since the pandemic, but that has been taught for decades inside of yoga studios in America. Bodily sovereignty sounds a lot like what I told my parents I was doing freshman year of high school. You have pretty liberal parents then. Yeah, <laughs> this is my body. I can do what I want with it as often as I want to do wherever I want in the living room. You're still here. People hear about anti-vax and they think MAGA world, but now we're seeing this wellness, which we see maybe more to the left. The Center for Countering Digital Hate identified 12 practitioners in the wellness space that were responsible for something like 70% of the vaccine disinformation on social media. Turns out ignoring the advice of the medical experts and sacrificing the health of the community at large can actually be quite profitable for the wellness business. Everyone knows about ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine at this moment. The idea that that could help, you have uh, meditations that are sold that are supposed to ward off COVID. You also have different breathing techniques. Some practitioners, including here in Los Angeles, teach breathing workshops because COVID is a respiratory illness. And so their belief is, well, if you're breathing properly, it won't actually affect you. You can breathe your way out of COVID. Absolutely. That's that is, a class you can pay for. Yes, here. that is absolutely a class you could pay for. So like how many smoothies does one have to ingest to get to the point where they can completely disregard the health of the community they live in. In Los Angeles, one, mm -hmm. uh, because they're usually $25. I never knew there was that many parts of honey to ingest. <laughs> and the honey is blessed by a shaman from Tibet, so you're paying for that as well, you have to remember that. I wanted to talk to these people, so I set up outside of the bougiest health food market in Venice Beach. And I also had a hankering for an activated charcoal bone broth rose hip smoothie cure-all. Are you vaccinated? Uh, maybe. No, <laughs> I'm not. You're not? No. Are you fearful of catching COVID? No. No? I, I think that it's more about the lifestyle versus like vaccinated, not vaccinated. Like, what is the lifestyle? Like being healthy, like taking care of yourself, like your mind, your body. If you live a lifestyle of wellness, then your body should be able to handle COVID. So what do you recommend for basic public health? Eating healthy. Um, boosting your immunity system and don't watch the news because it's just brainwashing you with fear and the fear is lowering your frequency. I um, only eat fish and only certain kind of fish. Like for example, I don't eat tuna and I actually found that out when I was trying to feed tuna to my cat and she shook her head and walked off. Do you often take medical advice from a cat? In general from nature. From nature. What do you think of the COVID vaccine? I don't think it's a vaccine. I think it's snapping the DNA in half. Where did you hear this? A 
Siamese cat. You recommend for public health people meditating? Of course. People working out in groups? Definitely. Eating healthy? Definitely. COVID vaccine? No. No. Uh, coffee enema? Possibly. Okay, maybe on the coffee enema, definite hard no on the COVID vaccine. No. I'm not an anti-vaxxer per se. I'm a staunch anti-mandate person. Can I ask, uh, are you both vaccinated? Sorry, we I don't want to put, wanna put uh, on, on the status. On, no. I, I just, if you don't want to share your vaccine status, that's okay. I'm vaccinated and look how I look. Don't judge me. I know everybody in LA is judging people. I'm an LA five, a New York six and a, a DC 12. I can tell. Cold, but fair. Now what say you, dude? I want to talk about wellness and public health. And trust me, we'll get to your script later. Can I ask you, are you vaccinated? I am. Do you find that most people in Los Angeles that you encounter are vaccinated? Like I'm kind of a New Yorker. Yeah. And there there's a sense of like civic duty. There isn't so much of that here to be totally honest. It's more like, well, I had to get vaccinated because I'm paying a trip to Tulum. So if more Americans were dangled a trip to Tulum, we might get that vaccination rate up in the 90s? Maybe so, yeah. <laughs> no matter what part of the anti-vax world they come from, there's one comparison they just can't resist making. I think what's interesting, especially coming from Germany, uh, I think history is repeating itself right now. What, what are you saying? That what's the vaccine mandates and everything. It's like it's turning into a police state. And you're equating it to World War II era Germany? Yes. Where's your papers? Where are your papers? It's very similar to the Hitler times. But like Jewish people are fleeing Poland because they can't get into gyms? It's not funny. But is that comparison though? You oh. just didn't get the point, sorry. I'm good, bye. <laughs> Maybe historical dramas aren't big in LA, but certainly there is commercial viability in saving humanity, right? We're in LA. Maybe there's an elevator pitch here, right? So. Zoom in on a country at war with itself, and then a magical cure comes along that helps people take care of the rest of the community by making a choice to help other people. Would you buy that ticket? No. No? Okay.